Hello and welcome to another Moog demo library. In today's video, we're going to be discussing Spectrovox. Spectrovox is unique in that it straddles the line between instrument and processor. And for this example, we're going to look at using Spectrovox to process vocals. Now, one of the things that you're able to do on Spectrovox with the 10 filter bands and the Spectrum Analyzer and its 10 envelope follower outputs is vocode an external signal. Because it's an analog vocoder with only 10 bands, it might not have the level of intelligibility that you're used to if you've used a modern digital vocoder, but you're still able to get a lot of interesting tonality from it. So for this, I'm going to be using a Shure SM58, which is a classic dynamic microphone, but we've added enough gain on the program input on Spectrovox to be able to accommodate most passive or dynamic microphones. If you're using something like a condenser microphone that requires phantom power, it will not be compatible with the program input. So it's important to take note of that. So for this, you can see I've turned the gain up so that the LED is reading plenty of activity from my voice. I have the mode switch flipped to vocoder. I have the VCA mode set to on. So now let's take a moment and listen to how Spectrovox sounds processing my voice. This is the sound of Spectrovox. This is the sound of Spectrovox. This so as you can hear, we can get classic analog vocoding sounds, and we have the ability to change the pitch of the carrier oscillator that I'm imparting my voice onto. We can change its wave shape. And we can also use the spectral shift to shift in parallel all 10 filter bands to adjust where some of the activity is focused on the oscillator. And another thing that's very important for vocals is this bands 9, 10 switch. If I flip this up to hiss, it's going to replace bands 9 and 10's carrier oscillator with the internal noise source so that I can simulate some of the sibilance and S sounds coming from my voice, which is very useful when vocoding. Another thing that we can do here is use the program envelope follower output, which is tracking the amplitude of the entire signal coming into the program. And we can use that to modulate parameters on Spectrovox. So this will be an extreme example, but I'm going to go ahead and plug the program envelope follower output into the volt per octave input and hear how that sounds. <laughs> So as you can hear, that makes things quite extreme, but if we're able to use an attenuator, and for this example I'll use the attenuator on Matriarch over here, then we can dial in the program envelope follower to get more of a subtle effect, and that will in turn heighten some of the intelligibility we can get from my voice. So let's go ahead and listen to how that sounds. I've plugged the envelope follower into the attenuator's input. I'm going to take the attenuator output and feed that back into the volt per octave input. And I'm going to shift the knob just to around noonish, but a little bit clockwise from noon. This is the sound of Spectrovox. This is the sound of Spectrovox. This is the sound of Spectrovox. So what you can hear is happening is every time I speak, the pitch of the oscillator is being pushed slightly up, but that can in turn imitate some of the effects of my voice and make things a little bit more intelligible. This is the sound of Another thing that we can do is use the program output itself. So use my voice to modulate the oscillator. And let's take a moment and listen to how that sounds. So as you can hear, using some external utilities and some of the patch points in the patch bay, we can also modify some of the vocoding behavior. Another common thing 
done with vocoders is to use polyphonic material. And so one thing that we can do is use the matriarch and feed its output into the carrier input on the patch bay, which in turn replaces the internal carrier oscillator. And now we'll be able to use my voice to vocode with polyphonic material. And let's take a moment to hear how that sounds. So as you can hear, Spectrovox is able to accomplish all of the classic vocoding duties you'd expect from an analog vocoder and put an interesting twist on processing external instruments. <laughs> 